All right, guys, today is a very exciting day. We're in beautiful downtown Miami. Today is the day we finally get to see JOP, the GOAT, the real fucking GOAT. None of that peso pluma shit. But we're in downtown Miami tonight. We're going to see JOP. Slide, slide, slide. Kind of like New York, okay. But, um,. The reason I say it's exciting because we're gonna see JOP today. Today's Friday, and then t this morning, like 6 a.m., we fly to Mexico. So I'm very excited to show show you guys share this vlog with you guys because it's been a minute. Um, but make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, guys. And if anybody's here too, I'm excited for you. I hope to see you guys soon. So basically, we're fucking running late. So I had to get ready in like 10 minutes. JOP's waiting. The GOAT himself. This is the fit for today. One of my favorite shirts. I got it at, um, it's called Enter Nostalgia. I'll tag their IG right here. But, um, yeah, basically this is fit. It's hot as fuck right now. It's humid. So something light, simple, casual. We're ready. Chambeando porque no hay de otro, pa. Eh, güey, pero que ahora que bien, güey. El otro día porque voy un pa' la verga. Ah, verga. Entonces, ¿para qué viene, güey? Ah, verga. ¿Sabes que viene porque? Pura, 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 güey. Eh, güey. Ah, ahí está. Yo tengo unos camaradas que están empezando un poquito, güey. Ah, sí, no. ¿Y qué show? Uy, ¿vamos o qué? ¿Pero qué? ¿Qué culpa no qué? Le hizo un bajista. Ya tengo como 6 meses sin tocar el bajo, pa. Dale, hombre. ¿Me jalo o qué? ¿Qué tal? Ah, márquelo, pues. A ver si es cierto. Márquelo. Márquele y nos jalamos. Si no pega el pegado, está bien, pa. I got like six months without playing the bass, bro.
Aside from Drake, but nah, bro. Compared to Peso Pluma, <laughs> that shit booty. But yeah, bro. And then like, it was crazy because our Uber driver, Jose. Um, I don't know. I just felt like a great, like I don't know, something about him just like gave me like a good feeling. So I was like, I remember before we left the hotel to go to the concert, I had a hundred dollar bill, and I was like, something just told me to come back and get it. And I don't really carry cash because I fucking lose it. So whatever, we go to the concert and then we call our lift. And then I thought about the hundred dollars and something told me to give them to him. But sometimes like I, I be like, sometimes, I don't know, like my, my, the feelings I get, I don't know if they're like right or it's just out of emotion. So I was like, God, if you want me to give him these hundred dollars, like send me a sign. As soon as I said that, I don't know, I looked at my phone and it was like 11 o'clock and it just said like, one one zero zero. So I took like a hundred dollars, and I was like, "Bro, what the fuck?" So I was like, "Man, I told him like, I told him he like, I don't know. He just gave me such a good feeling, such a good vibe, such a good energy. Like he was just so nice. So I gave him the hundred hundred dollar bills, and he, like he was so happy. And like I don't know, it just made me feel so good. So it's like, it made me feel good that I trusted my intuition, even though I guess I could have doubted it a little because I asked for an extra sign. But bro, it was like, I don't know. It just felt so good. You know, sometimes like. You don't know what people are going through and shit. Like he was very thankful and stuff. So, I don't know. It just made my day. It made my night, actually. Aside from JOP making my night, too. But right now, we're fucking getting ready. We're going to hit the airport. Our, our flight takes off at um, 6.35. So, we'll be in Mexico by, like, 11 in the morning. And another thing I didn't mention is that my parents are already in Mexico. My parents uh, have been there for a week. So we're gonna get picked up by our parents, and uh, yeah, I, have, I actually haven't slept for fucking 24 hours. Like, it's just fucking crazy. I'm like tired as fuck, but I'm just like waiting to knock out on the plane. Hey, we are, no, we're actually out there for a week too. We're in Mexico for a week, so if you're watching this, uh, go rob my house. I'm kidding. Um, by the time you're watching this, I'm already back home. So. <laughs> Hey, you might, well, I might be tired, but if you're a bad bitch, hit my phone. What the fuck you doing, shorty? Alright, don't forget to subscribe and like, please, because. Just because why not? Bro, I'm so fucking tired. Dijeron que no la iba a lograr. Y ahorita todos están callados. Pa' que guachen lo que el morro trae. Y la matita este lo está dando. No, no la bajo y ni pienso bajar. So we're actually landing in Mexico City, but um, my dad, we're flying from Miami to Mexico City to Mexico City to Leon. 
because that's um, where my dad's from. My dad's from León, Guanajuato, and then we're going to be there for a few days. And then we're, my mom is from Aguascalientes, so that's where we're going to go next. That's where we're going to end off our uh, week vacation. Bro, I'm fucking exhausted. Like, I'm so fucking tired. We're so close. <clears throat> our flight takes off in like 40 minutes. And we're just waiting for that to pop up on the screen because we still have no gate to enter. But, um, yes, we're almost there. We're already in Mexico, but we're almost to Leon. So stay tuned, guys. Finally fucking made it to Mexico. And guess what the fuck we're eating? Bro, this is like my ninth fucking taco. We got here, bro. I took a nap. We were fucking exhausted. This is our first night here in Leon. <laughs> this is my mom. Hello, Emma. <laughs> We're asking TMS. Hey, it's y'all, it's y'all, it's y'all. And that's my dad right there. It's my dad. So we're here in the central, so we're gonna get in like our transportation. And then we're gonna go to it's called Cristo Rey. It's um it's like a big santo on top of a of like a volcano or something like that. It's actually really beautiful, and that's where we're headed right now. Yeah, we fucking made it to Mexico. I know the clip before, we were all like cramped up. We rode like that for 45 minutes. Fucking made it. It's low key like hard for me to breathe out here, but we fucking made it. I swear, it's pretty hard for me to breathe up here. Like I have to like take like, I have to go <sighs> to like catch my breath, especially after like walking and shit. But honestly, it's such a beautiful place. I had a came here when I was nine, and then I came again when I'm 24. La ganga. Una salud. La ganga que. La, la ganga más pesada de aquí de de Felsman, Florida. Pero bueno, falta puro panza. No se les olvide que la vida no vale nada. Esta es mi sobrina Jackie. Arriba le dan buena pata. Un puro panza verde. ¿Es de Florida? Arriba Guanajuato. De la Florida, viene de la Florida. Sí, oiga, ¿te crees? Qué hermoso son estos. So right now guys, we're in El Centro de Guanajuato, we stopped by to eat, mm. it was like an hour and a half, an hour and a half drive here from Cristo Rey, this is where they have like las momias and stuff, I don't have like much history and background on them, but you guys will see them. Saludos, saludos. Yeah, guys, and then another thing here is like I don't know when I can pull out my camera or not. So like I'd be like sketch out recording here because I don't know. You know what I mean? Like you know it's Mexico. Oh shit. You know it's Mexico. <laughs> There's a dog right there. Yeah. And another thing, I got my my nose pierced like three weeks ago. And then today I fucking I 
it came out and looked looks nasty as fuck. And then it just like I couldn't put it in because it was like bleeding. Ooh, bro, it was bleeding. And I took L. I'm gonna have to get it repaired because it was hurting like a bitch. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh shit! <laughs> fucking dirt dog everywhere here. Look. Alright guys, so we're in the Centro of Leon right now and well basically it's called the Centro del Jardín and that's when you come out you guys can basically like grab food, you know, like catch a vibe out here, you know, show them the Jardín, show them the Jardín, show them the bandera. So there's bars out here, you know, puestos and shit. Like I said, if you're trying to catch a vibe out here in Leon, it's like 15 minutes away from where we live, so. You know, we just taxied here, but... What happened? What happened? What happened? What is my channel? Ozzy. Ozzy. With triple Z. Hello. You think you remember? Damn, we're getting subscribers in Mexico international, though. And guys, one another thing, too, is like, I'm like, if you see me in the videos just looking around, is because we've been warned to like, when we have my camera out or anything out, like we have to make sure that we're like on the lookout because anybody can just come and fucking snatch that shit. That's why I have my backpack on me because there's a lot of places I can't record just for safety purposes, but then, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like the thing is that I can't like, I can't read people here like in the US, like, you know, you can kind of feel when there's like raritos or people with like, I don't know, with that vibe, but here, like, I don't know. I don't know who's bad. I don't know who's good. And I'm not trying to say everybody's bad here, but you know, it's Mexico. Mamá, métete. Mira. <laughs> she literally turned away. We're about to get some fire. ¿Haces órdenes? Si me puede dar dos elotes, por favor. Yippee! Um. 
Got the big Benji's out here, eat our feet. Dude, I'm, I took an eagle shit. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. You're like standing like, over it. You're kind of like, oh, I couldn't. And it came out. Harry So that was a cathedral here in the own GTO. ¿Cómo se llama el triste lugar? La Catedral de la Ciudad de León, Guanajuato. La Catedral de la Ciudad de León, GTO. Pues en Google sacas la información de para que pongas ahí en qué año se fundó. So we're back home, enjoying some tortas de chorizo. I got some quesadillas on deck. Got a torta, got some quesadillas, we got some pan bro, oh my god, pressure, I can't wait to get it, and it's so soft, it's freshly made, y'all missing out, mmm, mmm, fucking hot bro, I don't know what to say, hey, Japan, unbelievable, all I'm gonna say is, ooh, hold on. Man. Man. <laughs> Man. All right. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> All right. Get put your butt push. It's Peluchino, Man. Everybody. He's 11 years old and he's horny as fuck. Make sure you guys like me. Just make sure you guys subscribe because I'm doing my best out here filming. You know, like I said, it's pretty hard. Um, especially with just being around here, you know, you don't know who the fuck or what the fuck you can do. But like I said, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video, guys. Go to Fox. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get up on Go to Fox. That would be a good ending. Go to Fox, ando. Defiende mi Jackie, me están violando.